fuck. There was one thing I was just thinking. When I heard the Republic's music, I thought, no chance it was going to be sexual. That would have been a scary fall. That would have been. But these are bottom line, Benjamin Daniel is back. And he's picked up a victory over El Novino. That is a statement. Statement and a half. Benjamin Daniel picks up a 1-0 win. Okay, people, we now move on. We move back to group number one. And um, here was the individual who you said would be eliminated. Yeah. He's managed to survive. Only just. Just, just I might like to. Jinx, you owe me a coke. Fuck you. He survived just by... Well, it was, Lizzo, it was Lizzo Lucho who came eighth. If you remember. Yeah. Royce Summers coming seventh. But it was only a couple of points different. I believe there was only like... If I remember correctly... It was, to be honest, I actually can't. It's a couple. Of, it was. But couple I know he came seventh. But Roy Summers looking to get himself not just surviving, but he looks to go to the top. But he's gonna have a hell of a challenge doing it. Because especially on the road. Billy Bowers. Let's take a look at this. In the last set of the YTA, when Billy Bowers and Roy Summers faced off, he only to try and find it. Roy Summers beat Billy Bowers, if memory serves me correct. I'll have to see. Ah, oh, here we go. Yes, Roy Summers did defeat Billy Bowers by pinfall. So, Billy Bowers got something to prove. But of course, take a look at the last results. Billy Bowers, in the last three shows, was, was victorious over Billy... Was he, was, yeah, he was successful over Brandon Wolf. Alex Minazuki and Lizzo Lucho. And that allowed him to actually come top from just points and was the only person to obtain eight wins. However, the public vote and the pro vote would drop him down a few places. But it doesn't matter to him because he is quite serious. He's like a summer serious, there. serious competitor. And, and he's got once a again, phenomenal I, I, pro. Once again, I highlight this. A lot of people said he would be one of the rookies that would go to the bottom and stay there. He ended up topping the first set point just from matches. But he's even though he did not top, even though he didn't win the set thanks to the pro and public vote, he was still. And look who he chose. Well, yep, he's got guile. This is interesting because you think about two individuals who pretty much similar styles like them to this what you mean between Guile and Billy Bowers yeah and the of experience course, but if you remember that... remember this Roy Summers and Vince Ford are pretty damn good friends if you go back to the YTA season 3 they were both participants on it and it was Roy Summers who would help Vince Ford get a contract in CXWI if you remember when Vince Ford actually faced Senelec and Vince Ford had to win to get a contract. The Republic, well not the Republic, sorry, the Order I should say, thought that they could put the screws, they thought they could put the screws to Vince Ford but Roy Summers was the person who would have stopped to that and allow Vince Ford to claim the contract. Did you know he's, did you, do you know where he is now? Who? Andrew Khan. You I, know think where he, I think he's gone to another promotion, I believe. He has indeed gone to another promotion, but unfortunately, he's joined a certain cult. That doesn't really surprise me. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because he was very good friends with Bowser. Oh god, not that kind of cult. Yeah. He's joined the Coopers. Yeah. Fuck. That is a massive Look at Rice! problem, and in all fairness... Hell, I've joined another promotion since. I think a lot of people are on now wrestling on other promotions. Yeah. You see? Oh! Nicely done there. And I Ooh. actually make my in-ring return this weekend. Yep. Yep, and I'll be in action on Melee. Whoa! Oh, look out! I was going to tell yeah. you. Yeah. No, to be honest, I was already informed. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. And you kind of know who I want to face on Melee. 
Yeah, I, can, I do have a feeling that you know. You want to get your hands on the CIO. Uh, no, surprisingly enough. Oh, Not yet. Close. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait till. Oh, Crimson crap! Mars. Superplex there by Billy Bowers! I'm going to wait till Crimson Mars. The person well, first I'm gonna we get my hands on is got to First, we've got to wonder if Shadow is going to accept the challenge. Well, regardless, I'm going to face Reptile on on melee. Look out! Because I have a little score to settle with him. See now, look out! Roy Summers! One, two. He's done there. One, two, and Billy kicking out. Remember, all it takes is two seconds, and Billy Bowers could absolutely knock Roy Summers out. All it could take is one cutter. It doesn't take two seconds. It takes one cutter. I was setting you up for that one anyway, so... Yeah. Well, you see right now... Royce! Flapjack! And Royce Summers! Turning it up! Oh, right up now by Billy! One, two. Well, the funny thing is, you don't see the pros actually getting involved, because these two pros do actually get involved. Well, so far! Boom! He got him in a slab dunk! I think that might have just stunned him a little bit. And I think now he's going to... Oh, he finds him in the corner. What's he got in mind? It's another superplex. See now. Whoa! Through to the stomach. And so far, these two evenly matched. Nice done there by Rice. So far, neither of these pros deciding to jump in, like in the last few matches. Complete chaos. Roll up! One, two. Rice Ooh. kicking out. Well, obviously, Guile, if you try and... Test the strength! Got it! One! One! Two! Two! Oh! That would have been the first ever pinfall by the test of strength. No, it wouldn't. In CXWI? No, it wouldn't. Oh, wait. There's been one before. I'm gonna have and to it was on last season of the YTA, I believe. Is this still on YouTube? I don't think so, no. No, no, I won't be able to, uh, and I can't remember. Yeah, YouTube has this thing of always fucking me over whenever too many videos get uploaded, and then it just simply ends up having problems uploading. That's just why we end up having to remove files. 4-4 four, four break. Yeah. Now, right! Another flapjack! Otherwise, you would have at least about 4,750 videos. Estimate. Yeah. You see that nicely countered by Billy. Is he going to go I for it? I think Billy, he's going to go want to end it. He's dragging him into the center. Oh, oh. oh he, was go he was going for it. He was. And it's Royce to put the stop. Head oh! Head first, right into a boot. And now, caught. Oh! Been a mixed match. Very mixed so far. Neither one of them claiming absolute solid bomb. Oh! I think that's it. Oh, He's going to go through it again? I think he is. There you go again. I think that might be Or all is two. it? No, it's not. That looked close. I tried it again there. Didn't get it. Nice shot. And out. Oh. Billy Bowers able to counter that one. Now, oh, counted again. And Royce now, slam dunk. Lands it there. Now, wow, nice kick. And again, slam dunk. I'm going to try for the cover now, Three. White Summer's got him down! Three. That's it! Wow, that's a shot. White Summer's picking up the win! And Vince Ford, his rookie's got to the perfect start. Well, not the perfect start, perfect start would be winning by KO, but still...
wasn't going to be put down. Roy Summers, victorious. 1-0 win again. Still so far, no one has won by submission or knockout yet. And Gregory Andrews is next. Gregory Andrews take on Lizzo Lucho, but it's Roy Summers who walks away with the win in this one. 1-0. One okay. Here comes Gregory. This could be a dangerous matchup. And I Once again, we'll go back to the previous set of the YTA to find the confrontation between these two. Gregory Andrews won it by pinfall. He'll be looking to do the same again. Oh, yeah. But this time, I expect Austin U.S. to get involved. Because this is kind of an obvious situation where Austin U.S. might end It's up the in weird it. thing, though, regarding Lizzo Lucho, is that he ended up with Silver as his pro. You've got to feel that a lack of communication between the two could be massive because he's not a very popular person, Lizzo Lucho. Yep. Of course, the popularity of Silver. Silver, of course, a very normally a very clean cut guy. Although, of course, he has come under criticism. Of course, once again, it's the usual subject when it comes to talking to when it comes to talking to yeah. Silver. Once again, people say. Just get rid of Preston. But they still remain a team. And they're going to be facing the Wild Ones on the road. Gregory Andrews. Well, he said he looks ready to go for this one. And he's going to need to be. Of course, Lizzo Lucho. He ended up from just points alone in sixth place and only just scraped through when it came to the pro and public vote. You see here, there's a Lucho. It will tire for him. Just a change of colour, really, but still. And is it pretty much a coincidence? What do you mean? No, it's not a coincidence. But anyway, Lizzo Lucho, he's going to need to get off to a good start. Because on the next show, Lizzo Lucho will have to take on Benjamin Daniel. That could be a very interesting matchup. Mm. Honestly, because Lizzo Lucho would have rather had Zinyak as a pro, apparently, mm. according to people. It was a weird thing because... It when it came, if it, I think of the order from the remaining pros who hadn't been selected by the top four, had that order been different, I think Zin, I think, I think a lot of the pro selections would have been very different. And I think that the Coopers. Might and have been even it, to like one. even if the top four and the bottom four were different, it could have changed the entire look right now of the YTA. Imagine, well, here's a factor. Imagine if the robot and the Zalucha were part of the creepers. Holy fuck, that would scare me. That would be scary. We saw them team up against Gregory Andrews in an assault, but was stopped by Austin Uhaz. Yeah, so consider that a factor. And remember, the robot's got Zinyak. So you don't... But so far, the robot, he took the loss earlier to Brandon Wolf. Close line there. I wonder, what, Lizzo Lucho. I wonder what Silver's thinking. I can only wonder what Silver's thinking. Nice baseball slide. Because at the moment he's got an uncontrollable rookie. He's got a well, I wouldn't say he's uncontrollable. I'd say he's just a little bit strange. But at times... And Gregory been... Andrews gets back in. Then you've got the situation involving the Flash Knights. Yeah. Then you've got the situation involving Arbiter, because Silver and Arbiter are quite good friends. Of course, that, go that goes way back, though. Yeah, that goes but way back. But let's not forget, they did Silver have... was part of the Dark Family. As well, but yeah, group, that's another factor. The group that ended up driving Arbiter over the edge. So that's another factor you've got to consider. Of course, Arbiter, it's expected, but his suspension will be lifted just in time for Crimson Mask. You see, now 